Hi guys, welcome to my den. My name is Amog and I am at heart a wanderer. I love hitting the off roads and today I am here to give you. We are here to what? You started without me. Hi friends, my name is Sayan. I am his friend and also the good-looking one. Right. So we are here today to give you guys some simple tips to prepare you for an off-roading trip. Right. And today we focus on tires entirely. Yeah, don't no. do that. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, first and foremost, you need to have a good set of tires. And for my SUV, I have chosen the MRF Wanderer. It is a license to tread anywhere, absolutely anywhere. And if you too have yeah. a cool set of tires, then here are a few basic checks you need to make right. on your tires before you hit the road. Start by checking the tire pressure. That is the PSI of your tires. I know this. It's it's pressure seeing indicator, right? Mm. No, it's pounds per square inch. which is also measured as kg per square inch ah right anyway the recommended psi value of your tires is located on a sticker which is placed on the driver's side door right not every car has that psi sticker on them so for that you need to check your owner's manual for the same but if you are going to carry some heavy luggage with you in the rear like sayan always does then you can go a bit above the recommended psi to offset the weight approximately 2 psi higher than the recommended value should be okay Right and guys please please check your tire pressure before you go for a long drive because a flat tire in between nowhere might just flatten your plans you know. Oh man flat tire flatten plans good pun huh i'm getting there Before you leave it is important to have the right balance wheel balance and wheel alignment Now what I'm trying to say is that when you go off-roading you don't want your tires to be wobbly right and that can only be possible if your tires are well aligned and well balanced and because I am the more responsible one I got these tests done at a nearby MRF tires and services outlet so our car is ready to rock and roll And finally before you head out make sure to give your tire treads a look yes. over and spot any bad treads to make sure that your ride is absolutely smooth and enjoyable and also to optimize fuel consumption right you know let us just demonstrate that each tire has tread wear indicators on it the outer wall of the tire has a TWI mark on it at certain places if you check in line with that TWI mark you will notice small lumps between the treads these are the tread wear indicators You should check the depth with a tread depth gauge which gives you the measurement in millimeters. If the tread depth becomes equal to these lumps, it's time to change the tire. Now your tread depth needs to be a minimum of 2 to 3 mm deep to be considered effective. You know I've got a way to do it with a with a 1 rupee coin. Just insert a coin in between the gap of the treads and see how far it goes. If number 1 is entirely visible, it is time to change the tire. If some of it is covered, then you're all set to vroom. That's quite cool. Right? Yeah. I've I've got another way to do it. You know yeah. with a, with a 100 rupees note. Oh. Okay. You you want to see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait, let me see. Uh, you have got one? Yeah, let me it's, it's in this one. Oh, okay. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Dude, I was going to buy a house with that. Well, that's it for this episode. Join us next week for some more tips to tread anywhere. In the meanwhile, you can answer this question and stand a chance to win some awesome MRF Wanderer merchandise. So leave your answer in the comment section below. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.